For the first time ever, the stars and stripes fly proudly above the East Stand at Twickenham. And the United States of America, led by Craig Sweeney, tread the Twickenham turf for the first time. They make five changes from the side, narrowly defeated by Gosford last week. Rob Bordley moves to full back. Rob Duncanson III comes in on the wing for his speed. The new fly half is Steve Gray. Greg Schneeweiss takes over at centre for the injured Dan Wack. And just one change in the pack, Jeff Lombard from Chuckanut Bay. He comes in on the flank. And the England 15 led by British Lion Bill Beaumont, the new captain. One of three players in this side from England's successful pack of last season. A particular interest, I think, will take in Neil Mantell, one of the front runners for Roger Utley's place, the half-back pair from Lancashire, David Carfoot and John Horton. And scrutiny, too, there will be over the centre pairing of Nigel French and Paul Dodge. But in fact, just about every player out to prove his chances of selection for England's senior 15. Two minutes of proper time remaining. Call of Miami at the line-out. But makes no difference to John Scott. Except that England give away a penalty in the process. Kelso dummies the touch kick. Wide open spaces there. There's Hare covers and Wyatt goes back. Halliday up fast. Hare making room well for Wyatt. Halliday back with the tackle. In comes Culpepper. Out to Duncanson. Taken on by Scott Kelso. It's still in play. He gathers the ball. This is the first USA try at Twickenham. So the hero of the day for the USA is Scott Kelso, who's worked tirelessly from the base of the scrum as the England 15 got into some disarray in defence following that diagonally put ball up towards the England line. Dusty Hare, Derek Wyatt together. Up quickly was Culpepper, the flanker. And as the ball went loose, little Scott Kelso, just 5 foot 6 and 10 10, became the first American to score at Twickenham and that brought great delight to the crowds so 31 points to 7 and at least the satisfaction of a try USA, a brave effort on their first visit to Twickenham a very warm response from the crowd this England 15 one sensed was going to be too strong they scored superb tries for Derek Wyatt, four tries on a memorable occasion, a fine platform up front, but there, what rugby is all about, the exchange of jerseys by the two teams on the day that the USA came to Twickenham and the crowd took them to their hearts, they scored tries in the second half, which will long be remembered, and I'm sure in the years to come, this has been the start of something very much bigger.